This actually looks like is somebody with curly hair. Now I look like a real Puerto Rican. Period. <laughs> guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video will be on a full lace install and how I glue them down in the back so I just wanted to come and show you guys how I bleach them I just bleach a little circle around the circumference when I do my full lace widths I don't like to go in and bleach the entire thing and as always I like to put the wig on my client's head before I do anything just so I can get a feel of where everything will lay and where we'll be putting the glue wiping the hairline down etc so first we're going to go in with our 91% alcohol and this is just to clean the hairline of any oil or dirt or anything that will make this lace not lay down right and then I'm going back in with the bold hold skin protect and I'm just dabbing this all along the hairline to protect the client's skin and now let's go in with this glue this is the new bold hold max I really like this I use it a few times it's a silicone glue it is waterproof I've witnessed it literally so definitely I'm gonna link that below where you guys can get that but it's pretty simple I'm just going in with that brush and I'm just brushing this glue all along her hairline similar to the way I would with the normal bold hold glue And I just like to go in with about a few layers of this. I go in with two to three, maybe four, depending on how strong of a hold I need. But you're just going to apply this, and I just give it about uh, 30 seconds or so to dry in between coats. And you want to make sure this is fully dry before you lay down the lace. And you'll know it's fully dry when it's tacky and it's not really sticky and stringy. Because what can happen is that glue can seep through the lace and it will get on the hair and it'll be just like really messy but it's pretty easy and simple to use and i love the strong hold that it has and as always i'm just going in and i'm just pulling that lace directly down into the glue just making sure we have everything situated properly and like i always say in my videos you want that hairline to be in front of the glue never behind it if it's ideal to be on top but I like to give myself a little bit of room for any mistakes, so I always pull it a little bit in front of the glue. And I'm just using my comb to go ahead and comb that down and just really mesh that lace together with the glue. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut up the middle of the lace with my scissors, and then I'll be using my eyebrow razor to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. And with this method, I just like to move the eyebrow razor up and down just so we can get a jagged cut and everything can look really natural and now for me i like to mix both glues i went in with this as i do in all of my other videos under the pieces of lace that are lifted after you went in and cut off that excess lace and this is just the bold hold active and that was inside of the glider container now i really like the glider containers as well when you're going in and doing an install and I'm just using that on the back of my rat tail comb to put it under there and then as always I'm going to go in and use the teeth of those comb of that comb to go ahead and comb that down into the glue and look how natural this looks you guys I love the way that this looks and the killer part about this was it was not even a HD or a transparent lace now this is the part you've all been waiting for on how to glue the back down and honestly it's really simple same thing as the front I went ahead and just wiped it off with the alcohol and then applied the skin protect and I'm just literally applying this a uh, glue along the back of her hairline with this brush and now I'm just going to do the same thing and I'm just literally going and following the trace of her nape <laughs> And same thing with the front, you just going to want to repeat this a few times. For her back, I did three layers of glue and you literally are set to go. And my favorite thing was she was telling me how secure it felt 
and this was my first time using this glue to glue down a wig on the back and she loved it now that was supposed to be the clip of me pulling the lace down into the glue obviously it wasn't because I don't know what I did but I just went ahead and just pulled that lace directly down into the glue and I just cut off the excess lace same as always but I didn't use the eyebrow razor I just went ahead and cut it straight across with a scissor because the back hairline was a little bit different it wasn't really carved out as much as the front of the hairline was <laughs> And what I was doing in this moment was just parting out to see if I wanted to cut off the excess lace that was lifted. And I decided not to because I wanted to give her some little kitchen hairs in the back. So I decided to go in and just leave that. And I'm just going to do the same technique as I did with the front. Taking the boho active with a rat tail comb and just applying that under the pieces of lace that are lifted. And then I'm going to go in and comb that in with my comb. Pretty simple if you overthink it you probably can mess up but it's really simple install once you think about it now I'm just going in and plucking up and I'm just plucking up to create a little bit of lines of definition in that top part so everything is a little more natural you don't want it to be too blunt and fake looking and then I'm going to go in and also pull pieces of hair out from the bottom to also thin out that line and this is the finished product of the back I really loved it I gave you guys a little bit of zooming action got really close the back looked so natural now for this method I wouldn't recommend you keep it on for too long because the back of your neck does move a lot and sweat a lot and if you have lots of hair back there you definitely may not want to do this technique and just want to go ahead and give that lace a little tug in the back and just making sure everything is secure <laughs> So now we're just going to go in and cut our baby hair about an inch or so long. You always want to cut longer than you would actually need them to be because you can always go back in and cut them shorter for the desired look, but you can't make them longer. So definitely make sure that you cut them longer than that you would need them to be because there have been times where I would cut my baby hair too short and then I literally probably wouldn't be able to do anything with them. Now I'm just going to take some Nairobi foam and I'm just putting this on the baby hairs. I do have a few videos on how I do my baby hairs. If you want to see how I do my baby hairs, click the link above and you can also watch me here. I didn't really do much because she didn't really want her baby hairs to be too styled. So I just literally went in with my foam and I'm just kind of swooping them back into the hairline just to make everything look natural and to her desired look. And for the middle baby hairs, I talked about these in a few videos, but you literally want to just kind of swoop them to one side and get them formed. And then I'll go back and cut them a few times until I get the desired look but I always like to go ahead and swoop them while they're longer so I can have that shape and form down and then I'll cut them to the desired length that I want them to be Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you found this video helpful at all, definitely leave a like. 
And if you guys have any criticism, any questions, anything you want me to answer, any videos you want me to do, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely just like it. And if you aren't already, definitely subscribe. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Bye.